All right, hey, this is uh, Dogfire again. Uh, going back, a little bit more trigger information. Um, wasn't too clear in the last video. Um, but on the slide trigger, if you can be able to see this, um, the trigger plate is slotted not as much as the old autocockers were, which I kind of like. I, I've always liked that slotted trigger plate, and that helps on the short stroking issues. Um, you know, I mentioned that I thought the trigger felt a little uh, gritty. Not so gritty, it's just uh, metal on metal. Um, like a really fine sandpaperish feel that will, in time, just you know, smoothen right out. It's a, it's a really nice trigger feel. And the two trigger glide screws is this one, and then there's one right back there. You just see the tip of it in the light there, and uh, very uh, indicative of the CCM, uh, what the '86 uh, frame sliders they had that, that used a Darlin trigger shoe, uh, Delron or whatever you want to call it. Um, but it was uh, it was uh, very nice. Flip around to get a little better view of the three-way. Uh, three-way has, like I said earlier, has a complete collar that goes all the way through, which you guys already know that, and it's adjusted from the end, very really similar to how the dies were, and um, I think some psychoblastic copied the light die there, um, but die had an external adjuster that you could adjust, and so very similar to that. Um, and then uh, the milling design is. Uh, almost a, a copy of the uh, uh, Check It Products old stainless steel three-way. Um, I could almost swear this is an AKA LPR uh, from the internals. But uh, besides that, uh, you, can see, uh, you can see how that, that all goes together. And the other thing is on the back here, so I can turn it around and get focus here. There we go. You can see the slider. Let's see if I can slide this out. Uh, the sliding sled that it's on, or the sled, is a long one that allows to, for it to cover that uh, milled out portion that uh, goes down to the bolt, or to the, excuse me, the hammer where the hammer and bolt connect. And it uh, you know, seems to be uh, pretty well made. It is uh, of a plastic, probably Delron construction. Um, that's what I, I'd guess. And you know, besides everything else, you know, if you look at the if you take the pneumatics and the uh, you know the frame away, it's pretty much a a Empire sniper. Uh, it's just a little different milling, and um, which is nice. Let's see. I'm uh, wow. I think they're making a lot of these things, but it's serial number. Uh, I'm assuming I'm a low serial number, but you know, low compared to the billions that they've already carved off of this thing. So anyway, they, oh, the, hey, the grips are nice. They're the same like Hogue style uh, bubble panel grip, and you know, all in all, it's a, a nice feeling marker. I'm going to tear the thing apart here now and take a lot of photos.